Hi YouTube, Willow Fox here. Just got in from get, going to grab the mail. I was out pretty much all day trying to find a new winter jacket because it's cold here and I definitely need one that doesn't collect hay on it. I have a fleece winter jacket that I made myself. I love it, it's super comfy, but it's like a hay magnet. So I needed something that wasn't gonna be dirty all the time. So anyways, I brought in the mail and look at this. This is like four packages from thrift books. And um, I've been having problems with our mail recently. I probably have 20 books maybe on order right now. And it seems like one of the packages they keep saying that they've tried their attempting delivery, but they can't access the property and notices were left and so on and so forth. I'm here all the time. I know this is BS. Um, I was here, the mail actually came twice today, USPS, and I was here both times. And so I'm going to guess that the book is not in here, the specific book that they keep saying. But um, it's funny because these were ordered a week apart, these books here, and they're coming all at once. So clearly something is messed up with USPS, but we are really close to Christmas, so I can totally see that. And I'm trying to just give them some leeway. But the lying thing, come on, guys. Don't lie to me saying you attempted delivery or you couldn't access the property. We have a gate, but it's open all the time. So there's no reason they couldn't walk up. Plus, they did walk up today. They delivered a package directly to my front porch. So, um, I don't know. But let's take a look and see what's in these first book packages. And honestly, I didn't look, so I have no idea. This is going to be a mystery. All right. So this one has three books. Oh, this is interesting. It's really hard to find a book about incense. Just incense. That's all I, I've been looking for. But I found this one called Potpourri, Incense, and Other Fragment, fra fragment, Fragrant Creations or Concoctions. I can't read today. Oh, my God. Potpourri, incense, and other fragrant concoctions. Okay, so here it is. This one had a really good review on it, specifically talking about incense. So I'm really looking for, oh, how cute is that? There's like illustrations. I love it. So I'm looking for mainly um, incense um, recipes. It seems like a lot of the ones in my books are overly complicated. There's not really any sort of formula or rhyme or reason behind them. Sometimes they burn good and sometimes they don't. And I'm talking specifically cone incense, not loose incense that you would burn with a charcoal brick. I want self-igniting incense cones. Okay. So there's that. And then this one I found really interesting. Somebody said it's kind of like... Um, a beginner's book of shadows it just has some really quick and easy um, spells and recipes in it and it's called the handbook of incense oils and candles by Maya Heath and this really looks like it looks like a um, like a small printing but it has a lot of tables and charts in it many things have been pre highlighted of course these are used books so keep that in mind but this looks like a, a hand, hand drawn cover. It looks like somebody scanned it in. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited because this is kind of like an underground type book. So I like it. And this was the biggest book I could find on incense. And actually this is available on Google Books and you can browse it on there. And so I've been kind of taking a peek at it and it's fairly big. So, um, people said it was pretty good. A lot of the times I can't even find the information if a particular herb is safe to burn. So that's interesting. Um, but the, there's a lot of herbs just specifically listed in here and their scent profiles when burned because herbs being burned is a different scent than herbs fresh or herbs dried. So that's really interesting to know. 
I will make a note though. I just recently placed an order with Soma Luna for, um, I'll put a link below, but I placed an order for herbs with them and on their site they have profiles um, for, for their herbs that include the scent information when being burned on ones that are specifically used for incense. So I thought that was really handy. That's why I placed the order through them. Plus they allow you to buy pretty inexpensive one ounce packages of herbs. If you're not, like when I buy herbs through, there's Star Botanicals, I usually buy a lot through and they're through Amazon. But I gotta buy like a pound of herbs at a time. And that's good for some herbs, but if I'm just trying a recipe and I'm not sure I'm gonna like it, I really only need one ounce. Even a half ounce would be good. But the prices are so good on the one ounce that it's fine by me. Sorry about the dogs. Like I said, they've been locked up all day, so. <sighs> some people love Buckland, some people hate him, but I've never read any of his gypsy books, and so I'm interested in that. I think I have one other one waiting to be read, but um, this just looks like fun. Traveler stories, spells, and healings. Traveler's stories. Traveler stories. Okay, I just, that sounds like a good book to me, but in case you're interested, Buckland's book of gypsy magic is the name of that one. All right, so that's two packages. The rest just feel like they have one book in them each. <clears throat> Somebody recommended this book to me. I believe I have one, but not two. So now I have three, but I'm interested in this one too. And now that I can read the back, I'm somewhat disappointed. Because the first thing it says is introduction to the craft basic equipment and altars. You're three books in. Why are you just learning about craft basics and equipment? Maybe that's for the entire book set. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't look too newbie. We'll have to see. I'll be giving my honest opinion on this series a little later. <laughs> and then this one also came by recommend. I know what one this is just by its size and its heft because it was a very expensive book. Um, this book new cost like $75. It's ridiculous. But I want to say I got it for... $30. And that's a lot for me. Usually the books that I buy are between three and seven dollars. That's like my average. That's how I'm able to afford so many books, which is awesome. And this book was quote unquote acceptable quality. And I'm going to tell you right now, this book is probably brand new. Okay. The spine's not cracked. There's a few dents in it because it has sort of a stronger cover, but it smells like a new book. But this is, this book is huge. It's huge. Um, if this is acceptable quality, I can't believe they didn't mark this as new. This is going to be awesome. Very, very big book. Lots of information. Symbols. Something that is quite often overlooked in magic. I mean, lots of people turn to herbs. Lots of people turn to incense colors, candles, planetary hours, zodiac signs, so on and so forth. But there's so many symbols in here. I'm excited about this one. I'm not only excited about the book, but the price was amazing because this is not something I would buy new, but it is new. It's like, there's no, there's nothing in it. Like sometimes people will write, you know, to's and from's on the inside. You saw in the other book, there was some highlighting. This is brand new. Look at 
all the color. Love it. So I just had to share that with you guys. Um, I can't really say how much money these books cost me because um, it's from a couple of different orders. But I do remember that this one was $30. Um, new on Amazon at $75. Um, I want to say this one was $7. Um, this one was $3.50. I think this one was $7. This is kind of an expensive book, but I liked the um like the hand like I knew that this was not going to be your everyday published book this was probably let's see yeah published by words of wisdom with a z international never heard of that company so this is probably very few People have probably read this book. There's all kinds of stuff written on the inside too. I love that just gives it character. I mean, you're like somebody else had information that they wanted to write down. I just think that's so cool. Anyways, um, and then this one was probably like three dollars. So thrift books. I've said it before and I'll say it again best price on books. There is another company that does this. It's called Abe Books and I have not ordered from there yet. Um, my problem with them is their site is rather confusing because when you do a search on a book there it um, it lists all the different copies of the book rather than if you're like say searching a subject excuse me like beekeeping like six books will come up but they're all the same books they're just in different um qualities so it's different copies that they have and i find that really confusing so i haven't ordered from there yet um i have searched there quite often if there's a book i can't find at thrift books but it seems like if thrift books doesn't have it abe's doesn't have it either so um i haven't found a reason to order from there but it's something to check out in case you know they are out of a book but Thrift Books has the wish list thing, so if they are out of stock of a book and you wish list it, you'll get an email when it becomes available. And so I really like that. And that's kind of what happened this month. I don't know if like they just went on a buying frenzy or what, but I keep getting these emails like your your wish list book is available, get it before somebody else does and and so then I'm like I better get it right now. <laughs> So they've got me hook, line, and sinker. But all these books are great. Super excited by this giant symbols book. Very, very fun. So if you guys have read any of these books, let me know. Tell me what you think. I'll be interested. And maybe I'll share with you guys some of my incense research and recipes. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys are having a great week. And happy Yule!